Okay, read on. Verse 20. And the captivity of this host of all the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto Zarephath, and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sephar, shall possess the cities of the south. So there, it speaks here of a captivity of, of Jerusalem in Sephar. Now, this isn't talk, speaking of captivity of, or, or exiles, which is what that word means. This isn't speaking of exiles who are dispersed all over the world. It gives you the exact location that they were in. Read on. Verse 21. And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be Yahweh's. Now it says saviors, plural, not one. This isn't speaking of the Messiah. Saviors. It's speaking of John Hycranus and the Maccabees. They are the ones who did these things and subdued these lands. We've already proved, proved this on a previous video. Read on. That's it. I'll read that verse again. Verse 21. And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be Yahweh's. And this is what you struggle with. You stated, one of the brothers stated, are we in heaven yet? First of all, we're not going to heaven. We're not going out to the heavens to, to possess the heavens. The kingdom will be established on this planet. The kingdom during that time was the land of Israel. That's hard for you to understand because it says, and the kingdom shall be Yahweh's. Okay, in order to prove that, let's go to Leviticus 25. Leviticus 25, I want you to read verse 24. Verse 24, And all the land of your possession, ye shall grant a redemption for the land. So it says, all the land of your possession. Alright? So the land of your possession, talking about the Israelites, are these land, land regions in Israel. Now go up to and read verse 23. Verse 23, The land shall not be sold forever, for the land is mine. Alright? The land belongs to Yahweh. But we possess it. We are his people, his representatives. Let's first let's get a definition on kingdom to explain what, what a kingdom is. Kingdom uh, from Strong's uh, exhaustive concordance of the Bible is Hebrew word 4410. It means something ruled, that is a realm. And also from Brown Driver Briggs' lexicon, it means a kingship, royalty or kingly office. Okay, a realm. Something ruled. A realm. And the realm during that time was the land of Israel and also the land of Edom. Let's get a definition, an uh, English definition on that word realm. From Webster's, uh, it means a royal domain, the region, a sphere or domain within anything. Okay. Now how, how hard is that to understand? Let's prove that even further. But give me uh, Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11, I want you to read verse 12. Matthew 11 and 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. So during the time of John the Baptist and the Messiah, they're speaking of a kingdom of heaven. Read that verse again. Verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent taken by force. Now you know who, who took the kingdom by force. It wasn't us, but there was a kingdom set up during that time. So you're going to start it and, and tell us that, oh, has the kingdom of heaven been established? Are we in heaven? No, because you misunderstand the scriptures. You didn't stack line upon line and precept upon precept. But you accuse us of not understanding the scriptures. Alright, let's, let's go even further. Get Luke chapter 17. Luke 17, I want you to read verses 20 and 21. Because you brothers need to read this scripture. Obviously you have it. You need to, you need to listen and understand. Luke 17 
uh, 20 and 21. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of the Most High should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of Yahweh cometh not with observation. Did you hear that? The kingdom of Yahweh doesn't come with observation. All right, you, you waiting on something to fall out of the sky. No, that sounds like Walt Disney. Read on. Verse 21. Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of Yahweh is within you. There it is there. All right. We, we don't even have to go, go any further on that. So all that's been proven. You should understand the last part of the book of Obadiah now. And if you need some help with, uh, with the land inheritance, inheritance that's going to be given to us in the kingdom, the coming kingdom of the last days, read the book of Ezekiel. Uh, read from chapter 43 on down on to 47. And you, then you'll see the land inheritance, inheritance that's given to all the tribes. All right, and you'll find that it does not coincide with the lands that were possessed in Obadiah uh, verses 19 through 20. All right, so that's it on that. And uh, I hope that you brothers have been edified and everyone else out there. All right, but you needed to be corrected. You weren't correcting us. We just corrected you. And you're always welcome to prove us wrong, of course, if you can. But with that, we'd like to say shalom. Shalom, shalom.